What's up West Palm Beach? I'm Kami with Visit Palm Beach and the Visitor Information Center in downtown West Palm Beach. And I'm actually on um, a new tour that's come to downtown West Palm Beach. And it's called West Palm Beach Food Tours. And if you haven't been on a food tour, you must try it. Um, this is actually a really great way to experience uh, West Palm Beach and downtown West Palm Beach uh, while you're doing this tour because not only do you get to eat some amazing food and meet great people, uh, you get to learn about some of the history of West Palm Beach. Um, so right now we're actually at our middle stop and uh, the middle stop is Hullabaloo, which is in the 500 block of Clematis. And the two stops before this, um, the first stop is actually the Blind Monk and you we get a little bit of um, a drink and and some garlic bread and it's very refreshing and then our second stop uh, was actually the Palm Beach Hibiscus House which is this quaint little um, area that's in between City Place and downtown and it's a bed and breakfast and we had some amazing food there, things that I've never even tried before. Um, and I wanted to share all this with you guys because this, like I said, this is a great way to enjoy downtown West Palm Beach. Hi Erica, hi Victoria Sparks, how are you guys today? Um, so right now I'm about to actually walk into Hullabaloo. This is sort of like the backside of Hullabaloo, which is like I said in the 500 block of Clematis. And um, we're actually gonna meet Chef Fritz, who's sort of like somebody famous, I think. And Hullabaloo is a great restaurant and we're gonna get a little piece of the tour. So if you have any questions, feel free to chime in and, um, and we'll just kind of see how it goes. All right, so this is um, a really great part of the tour. You have this, this little area that you can actually rent out and, and do things and they're all sort of set up. So what do you eat at Hibiscus? We had um, all kinds of food there. It was these little cheese balls and um, really great stuff. I'll actually put some pictures up as well. So, um, this is going into our fourth season. So, this, I don't know, is everybody from out of town? Yes. yes. Season in South Florida is kind of December, January through April. Hopefully, April, they work it into May, but it's kind of getting shorter and shorter because there's more people just living year round. It's not quite as business, it's not quite as seasonal as it once was. But, uh, this is, so, we're Hollow Blue, we're an Italian gastro club. Like I said, we've been here about three years our fourth season so we're about three and three and a half years um the gastro pub concept is a great concept for chefs because you get to use a lot of spirits we use a lot of a lot of uh spirits and, and beers in our in our cooking you know so they kind of if you're asking what the gastro pub concept is it's I mean, pretty much everybody that comes in is, is having drinks i think it's kind of where it took me a few years to kind of put it all together what it is because the gastro pub started out in london and they were bars that started selling a little bit of food, you know. And so, and in America, we've kind of just changed it. But it's, you know, pretty much. I was thinking about it, and I'm like, what really defines that? It's just that everybody's drinking, for the most part, day in, day in, night. <laughs> so, so it's a really fun atmosphere, you know. But we use a lot of small batch spirits, you know, whiskeys and bourbons, you know, made from all around, are become really, really, really popular. So small batch. You know, vodkas and, and gin and whiskeys and bourbons and, and all those kind of things. So we make we have a really great mixologist slash sommelier that is has extensive wine knowledge, but his spirits and his ability to combine. So that's actually Chef Fritz, and he's sort of giving a little bit of history about um, how he decided he was gonna sort of do everything that he's doing at Hullabaloo. And in the meantime, while he's sort of doing his spiel, I'm actually going to um, show you some of the food that we're gonna have, and maybe I can get somebody to answer some questions along the way. Um, so if anybody has any questions, like I said, feel free to ask. And um, you'll, you'll have to absolutely um, join You'll have, you'll have to check out Periscope. I'm gonna do some other videos later in the day at some other uh, places that we have. And um, I think it's gonna be like Ganache, uh, which is a bakery and maybe Le Rendezvous. So you'll have to head over to our Periscope account and um, so that you can see more stuff that's going on on the food tour. But in the meantime, uh, this is actually um, the kitchen behind me and I'll sort of pan around. You guys can see that. Victoria, you have a question. Um, ask away, please. Anybody that has any questions, feel free. So this is actually um, back 
here is Hullabaloo's Kitchen, and you can tell it's like super small, and they have all kinds of things prepared for us. I think these tomatoes might be for us. I'm not really sure. Um, we have like this amazing food, and hopefully we'll get to experience something on the tour. Um, and you can see back here, like you can always check out like chefs preparing food. Hi, <laughs> and um, which is like a really neat experience. Um, oh yeah, and like Paul said, the chicken meatballs. I heard are to die for, so hopefully we'll get to check that out today too. Um, and so far, probably my favorite food is going to be at the Blind Monk. At the Blind Monk, we had this fresh tomato and these fresh uh, garlic breadsticks. It was really pretty amazing. Oh, hey, Chef Fritz. How you doing? So great that you're actually <laughs> able to catch me in the middle of this video. So I heard you talking a little bit about hullabaloo and um, so how long have you actually been with Hullabaloo, like creating this menu? Well, I helped open the restaurant up, so we've okay. been about three and a half years. Okay, and what do you think about the West Palm Beach food tour? Do you do you like it? Have you experienced the tour? Oh yeah, it's been great. We've gotten a lot of ton of you know ton of return business from it, and everybody's okay. been really receptive. You know, gotten tons of compliments on, on the food. So okay. yeah, it's a neat, it's a neat little fun little thing to do. You know. Yeah, and so I heard that it's not actually a set menu when the food tour comes here. Are you actually creating something different every time? Uh, not every time. I do some of our signature dishes, you know, over okay. and over again. But yeah, I just I didn't want to lock into one item because yeah. that's kind of our gastropub concept. We change the menu a lot and okay. we do a lot of specials. So okay, and so what so are I we? Did, I didn't want to be locked into one thing. What are we actually gonna have today? Today we're doing a chicken meatball. Oh my gosh, I've heard so much which about is, the chicken which meatballs. Which is a really really popular menu. And item. and actually, Paul Klov, um, he's with Bohemia Art Gallery and. Um, Northwood, he's the one that actually was asking me about the chicken meatballs oh, earlier. Okay. So, um, and what is your favorite food here? Oh my, I eat a lot of pizzas. A lot of pizzas, okay. <laughs> I've heard everybody yeah. on the tour like loves pizza. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm really excited to sort of check out some of the food here, so I'm gonna go back in there. But thanks for spending a few moments with me. You bet. And, um, and I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. see you later. All right, guys, so, um, Everybody is sort of hanging out right now, and that's sort of the the thing the theme that goes on is that we get here, we learn about a little bit about the history of West Palm Beach, why we have the food that we have, and we get to sit down and eat some amazing food. Um, and so I did. I heard that we're having like these chicken meatballs, and everybody is already done. <laughs> I'm the only one that hasn't eaten my chicken meatball, so you can see it right there. That's, that's beautiful. It's like some bruschetta with. It looks like a pesto and um, this chicken meatball. So I'm gonna check this out. What did you guys think? Did you guys love the chicken meatball? Yeah. 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 And um, have you enjoyed the tour so far? Would you absolutely, would you ask your friends and family to come and do this tour? Yes. Yes. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. All right, so I need somebody to tell me what is your favorite food so far on this tour? All of it. All of it. That's a good answer. That's a really good answer. <laughs> <laughs> a mojito, that's right. They do, they do like this Prosecco mojito sort of drink at um, the Blind Monk. Anyways guys, um, I'm actually gonna let you go, but before I go, I wanted to make sure that you guys check out our Periscope account because I'll probably do another video over there. And, um, and don't forget all the other fun things that are going on in West Palm Beach. You'll have to come by the Visitor Center if you're in town. And if you're not in town, I encourage you to come Come check out West Palm Beach. This is a charming city and everybody's passionate about it. That's that's why I do these videos, is, is so that I can share these experiences with you and hopefully you'll come and you'll visit us and you'll find fun things to do. Um, and if you're a local, these are great things to check out too. This food tour is amazing. You know, it's only like $65 per person for the food tour and if you enter a code, Visitor Center, um, into um, the little promo code you can actually get ten dollars off this tour so that's a little tidbit right there and um, I'm actually gonna give away one food tour ticket to a lucky winner so if you share this video and like this video you'll be entered into a chance to win a food tour ticket um, and some other things that are going on in, in West Palm Beach is uh, we actually have Clematis by Night that's going to be happening this Thursday from 6 to 9. And um, on Saturday we of course have our Green Market which is going to be a beautiful warm weather as well as an antique flea market. And this Friday, uh, it's actually the second time that they're doing it in Northwood Village. It's called Art Night Out and that's the last Friday of every month. 
and you can actually go and check out some of the vendors and the restaurants and the stores and they're going to be open a little bit later than normal so you can check out live music as well. Um, hopefully I haven't missed too much. Uh, there's always amazing things going on in West Palm Beach and I hope you guys um, sort of understand uh, the charm that we have behind West Palm and I really think that this food tour is a great way to experience that and if you have any ideas um, on some other places that you'd like me to check out um, that you'd like to learn about or events that you'd like me to explore I encourage you to comment below and hopefully I can come by and check it out so anyways I hope you guys have an amazing Tuesday and I will see you guys next week bye bye